Ah, you put your back. So, Javante Davis posted pictures and videos training for his next fight with an ankle monitor. Now, Devin Haney reacted to that by stating, quote, he can't leave his house. End of the quote. Now, a lot of people automatically assume this puts Devin Haney versus Javante mega fight in jeopardy since Javante is on probation. However, I'm here to tell you, Javante is going to be on probation for the next three years. And you best believe he's still going to fight. I was thinking at first, maybe the reason why Javante haven't sent Devin Haney an offer to fight on Amazon Prime pay-per-view is due to that. However, news came out that Javante Davis is most likely going to launch Amazon Prime pay-per-view on PBC on March 30. So if Javante can fight whoever he's fighting on that date, he can fight Devin Haney as well. And if Javante wants a tune-up fight before fighting Devin Haney, that's completely fine. However, that shouldn't stop Javante from negotiating with Devin Haney, just like he did with Ryan, to agree to fight after a tune-up fight. Remember, Javante agreed with Ryan to fight a tune-up against Hector Garcia, then Ryan Garcia after that. So Javante could structure the same type of deal with Devin Haney especially when Devin Haney already agreed to accepting the same deal Javante sent Ryan Garcia as far as the money splits, so on and so forth. We also know Tank already agreed to move up to 140 to fight Devin Haney without a rehydration clause. Therefore, the only thing left for Javante to do is send Devin Haney an offer. Javante being on probation is not an excuse due to the fact Javante most likely is going to end up fighting on March 30. On top of that, Devin Haney already told Javante, quote, I have been calling out that dude out for years. He only says something when I got to fight, but now I don't. We can fight now, wherever he chooses. He said we don't know how to get in contact with him. Well, have your people reach out, Javante. End of the quote. In other words, Devin Haney is willing to fight Javante anywhere, at any place, at any time. Which means whatever place is going to allow Javante to fight on probation on March 30, Devin Haney is willing to fight him there. So there's no more excuses to be made. And Javante, he's hinting that he will fight Devin Haney in 2024, this year. It might not be next because it sounds like Javante wants a tune-up on March 30. However, like I said before, Javante can do the same deal he did with Ryan and agree to fight after that with Devin Haney. They can agree now. They don't have to wait till after March 30 because we know these type of deals take a long time to make. Why waste time? Why haven't Javante sent Devin Haney an offer to start negotiating now? if he's planning on fighting Devin Haney this year, especially when Javante knows he has probation and he has to get everything cleared up by his judge. Tank is in a unique situation. He has to get everything approved by the judge and the law. So why not get ahead of the ball if he sincerely want to make the fight the fans have been begging him to make? More importantly, make the biggest fight in the sport of boxing that's going to generate him the most money, which is exactly what Javante claims he fights for. It's the money. Well, you could put Devin Haney versus Javante anywhere in the USA or anywhere in the world and it's going to sell. And not just going to sell. This fight will sell on pay-per-view more than any fight in boxing today. It will easily crack more than a million pay-per-view buys. Tank told the fans he was going to fight Devin Haney after the Roley fight. Then he told the fans he was going to fight Devin Haney after the Ryan fight. However, he never sent Devin Haney an offer. But I truly believe this time around, Javante is going to fight Devin Haney in 2024. Since Tank has been saying everything to Devin Haney as of late, but let's fight. I don't think Tank is going to be talking this much to Devin Haney if he's not going to fight him this year. With the facts being laid out, drop your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe below and to be continued on the next episode of Aki TV. Peace out. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
accuse the SNAP program of cheating. Do you take that as a compliment? I think he's, but I don't, was he talking about power or was he talking about weight? Both. Yeah, well, fucking Mario Barrios was, 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 was working with SNAP. He didn't say nothing. You know, so what, what, what's, what's different now? I've been working with SNAP for 10 plus fights. I've been, I've been, and they call me, he called me pillow pissy. He said I couldn't punch. He said I couldn't knock nobody out. So why all of a sudden does the snap have to do with anything? If I'm pillow fisted, what do it matter about weight? Tank said to you on Twitter, he's going to offer you 10% to fight. Uh, what was your thoughts on that? Man, listen, give me the same deal you gave Ryan and we got to fight. So you, you will accept the same deal? Same offer. He sent Ryan Garcia? Same offer Ryan Garcia got, same offer I'm going to take. Who would you say is a bigger star, you or Ryan? I think um, right now it's me, for sure. Yeah. Um, you, you proved you have more drawn power than Ryan yeah, Garcia. I mean, look, look at look at you know the, the tickets that Ryan Garcia just did and the viewership Ryan just did in, in um, I don't even know where he fought, but Houston, Dallas? Yeah, I don't know where he fought, yeah. but it wasn't a sellout, like your, yeah, your fight. Yeah, it wasn't a sellout. People aren't really checking for Ryan these days, you know, um, respectfully, but um. I think that uh, me and Tank would be the biggest fighting boxer. Yeah, and, and even before Ryan fought Tank, he wasn't selling out either. Uh, but, you know, since that's the case, there's only two pay-per-view stars that are selling out stadiums from 140 and below, and that's you and Javante. So why do you think um, Tank is not pushing for the fight like you are? Yeah, um, I don't know. I think it's the biggest fighting boxer. And uh, I think it's only a matter of time before you know, we have to fight. And uh, it is what it is. We'll, 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 we'll let uh, God handle it. And when it's time, when the time comes, it'll come. Tank uh, trainer, Kenny Ellis, he came out and posted on social media that he wants you to fight Jerron Ennis when you called out Tank. He shouldn't, how'd you, he shouldn't how'd you want me to fight nobody but his fighter. Because that's how he get paid. That's how his fighter get paid. And that's how you know Tank become a bigger star. After, I think, when Javante was set to fight Hector and Ryan Garcia, he came out and said, after these two, I'm more willing to fight Devin Haney next. Stop running. So did Javante ever contacted you no. after the Ryan and Hector Garcia fight? No, uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'm free now. He's free now. It's an easy fight to be made. Uh, <laughs> you put your back. Yeah, just like that.